Hi, today I wanted to take a look at the process of verifying a checksum on an ISO that I downloaded. This method will also work for DMGs and most other file types. Uh, the reason I'm doing this today is because I have an ISO download of Linux Mint and I want to make sure that it hasn't been tampered with in any way. It's not coming directly from the Linux Mint servers, they actually have a bunch of mirror sites and you never know if one of these mirror sites got hacked and that you know ISO was hacked so that it could potentially you know steal keystrokes or steal data whatever the case may be you just want to make sure that the file that you're downloading is actually what the developer intended for you to download so let's get right into it uh, authenticity here they have actually have a nice link for you where you can click on and most developers and sites will also have it for you in one form or another so I know that I downloaded Linux Mint 19.1 and then right down here you can see they have the SHA-256-SUM.txt file and then you can compare it to whichever file you have because they have a 32-bit and a 64-bit. This may also apply to what you're doing. So this isn't specific to like Linux Mint or anything. This will literally work for any other checksum that you're performing. So I have them copied down here so I won't need this. I'm going to back out of here. All right, let's minimize this window and let's go into terminal. I'm going to make this a little bit bigger so you guys can see. Okay. Now, all right, so what we're going to do now is, and depending on the type of, uh, you know, checksum you have, it may either be a 256 or a dash one. There are a few other kind of standards, but I'm only going to cover the more kind of dominant one here. Uh, so what we'll do is SHA sum dash A, and then we're going to do 256. All right, and we're going to find the ISO that we downloaded. I'm just going to drag it right in. And let's hit return. Usually it takes a couple of seconds to process. Once it processes, uh, you're going to get a long string of characters, and we need to compare that to the one that we have copied from the website. All right, so here it is. Let's uh, command C to copy. And I have a text edit window here. I'm just gonna paste it right into this text edit window. So I know that top one is the one uh, that I got returned from the ISO file. And then the one that I have here, which is the 64 bit ISO, I'm gonna go ahead and copy this right below it. All right, now you can do this visually and see if there aren't any differences, but my favorite way of doing it is in text edit, you can press Command F on the keyboard and just paste it into here, okay? And when you hit return, you'll see if there are any identical matches to what you pasted in. All right, and as you can see that I got a number two returned over here, which means both of these are identical. If you only have, you know, a one there, which means it only located one string identical to what you copied from the website, then you know you have a problem. Uh, delete the ISO and try to re-download it from another mirror site. Uh, that pretty much sums it up. Thank you for watching and we hope to see you next time.